Hi everyone and welcome to day one of this devotion called What Are You Waiting For? Modern life is busy, isn't it? You know, most people, they leave school or university, they go out to find a job and then the pressures of life are on and we quickly learn that life can be full of disappointments. And for some people, the disappointments are most acutely felt when they're on the journey of trying to start a family. And for some people, perhaps this is a dream that just gets delayed or put to one side, whilst others maybe experience complications and challenges along the way. And I want to tell you the story of a woman called Hannah today. Hannah lived over 3,000 years ago in a small place outside of Jerusalem. She was married, but unable to bear children. And as was customary in the day, her husband had another wife and she was able to provide children. So the pain for Hannah must have been unimaginable. And for years she wept and she prayed. She desperately wanted a child. And in fact, Hannah made a promise with God. She told God that if he would bless her with a child, that she would give this child back to him. God eventually answers Hannah's prayer and she gives birth to a son and she calls him Samuel. And in fact, Hannah is so grateful to God that she does give this child back to him. And he goes and uh, learnt, trains to be a priest and he spends the rest of his life in this role. And in fact, Samuel becomes one of the leaders uh, of Israel. Hannah had great faith and she trusted in God even through the difficult and painful times. And actually, Hannah went on to have more children, which is incredible. And I love the simple line in the story that tells us why Hannah gave her son his name. It says this, she named him Samuel saying, because I asked the Lord for him. I love how simple that is. We don't always get the things we ask God for, but I think it always involves taking that step of faith and reaching out to him. We're now gonna hear Alex and Chantel's story that tells about waiting to start a family. Hi, my name's Chantelle Baker. I'm married to Alex Baker and this is our story of waiting. We waited 12 very long years to have our first baby, Eden. It was a story that was filled with a lot of heartache and agony, as anyone who is in a position of waiting will know. A lot of raging against God, questioning him, asking him why, um, and then just many, many days that bled into each other of having hope which was crushed time and again and that's the thing about hope um, and waiting is that when you don't know if there is an end in sight um, it can be a very lonely journey it can be very hard I've said this before but I remember saying to God the question I need to ask you is not do you love me because sometimes it's hard to feel love when you feel a bit abandoned or alone in your waiting the question that I should choose to ask instead is, do I trust you? Because as long as I keep answering yes to that question, then I can keep going. And so after many years of waiting, praying, so many people lifting us up to the Father, medical interventions, <laughs> all kinds of um, uh, wacky things that we tried, uh, God did answer our prayer through the miracle of IVF. Um, our first cycle failed, but the second cycle, which wasn't meant to work, did. Um, and the joy that we had in holding Eden was just indescribable. I think what I would say to people who are on that journey of waiting is, it is a very acute pain to be waiting for something when you don't know when that end point will be. But when you don't know if you're going to get what you're praying for, it's a special kind of agony, isn't it? It is um, heart-wrenching, um, praying for the child that you long for. And yes, our story of waiting has a happy ending. Um, and I know so many people are still waiting, they're still waiting to find out what it is that is um, in their future, what it is that God has planned. He is there. He loves you. He is faithful. And he's a miracle worker. He can do it. But even if he doesn't, we will still trust. What an amazing story. As Chantel said, we don't always get what we ask for or what we're waiting for, but we can always trust in God. And maybe, like Hannah, we want to give something back to God when he answers our prayers. Today's song that's suggested by Chantel is a song called Trust in You by Lauren Daigle. And it is a really incredible song that speaks to us in the waiting, in those times when we don't know if we're gonna get what we're waiting for.
And before we hear this song, let's take a moment to just thank God for the things he has already given us and to pray that we will trust in him no matter what situation we find ourselves in. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you for these stories we've heard today. I thank you, Lord, for the faithfulness of Hannah, of Chantelle and Alex in the waiting. Thank you that we've heard about the honesty of their pain and the challenges they faced. And Lord, I pray for anyone today on that same journey, not knowing, but carrying immense weight in their hearts. Lord, I ask that you will bless them with courage and trust and endurance, and that Lord, we will trust you in every circumstance. Amen.